Today we are looking at 1988 Peugeot 205 GTI and this particular model has 1.6 liter engine and we have the car on the lift. The car has been here for a couple of years but I purchased this car with intentions of keeping it. And <clears throat> I did have it on the lift before but I couldn't really remember um, if it had any issues. I knew it, there was no rust but let's just take a look at it again and see what we got now one thing i gotta show you not related to undercarriage is that there's a crack here in the bumper that somehow it's not very easy to see that when it's when the car is sitting down i guess because of the angle of that crack but there is a crack here that i can see now that quite honestly i missed it um when the car was on the ground <clears throat> but uh, that probably can be uh, fixed or replaced. I'm sure these are standard bumpers for these 205s. There is no rust, I already looked at it. There is no rust, that's one thing. And another thing, it just looks like um, really not much has been done here in all these years. I mean, the car is pretty old and you can see that um, there's really no traces of any repairs but there's also no traces of any rust proofing materials uh, it doesn't look like he was ever painted and whatever uh, rust proof it came from the factory it's probably still either here or maybe it's uh, gone but you can't really see uh, much uh, it looks like there is a dent over here that was probably caused by I don't know um, it maybe just hit something or it was jacked in the wrong place <laughs> but there is definitely no rust on this car and you can see the rocker panels here this is all original now we do know the history of this car and we do know that the car has been sitting in the barn um, the guy lived in a small village so the car was parked um, the cv boot looks pretty good uh, this uh, stabilizer link was replaced this was done by our guy uh, in poland cv boot looks good on this side too and you do have a stabilizer link that's older not sure if it's original but uh, it's definitely older tires look good uh, i was also told that one of the calipers was replaced and i'm not sure which one um uh, this one maybe looks newer i don't know uh, as far as the engine and transmission just like on every old car there's probably gonna be some moisture that you're always gonna find but the car is sitting in the showroom and when I moved it, I don't see anything uh, dripping on the ground. There is no uh, fluids that that we found on on the on the ground, which we have tile floor where these cars are sitting. Uh, but again, there is a little moisture. There is a little of something um, in a couple of spots, <clears throat> which is probably not unusual when you talk about a car of that age. Uh, one thing I wanna show you and just make sure that we understand this is how this is shaped. You see how this floor is shaped here? Same here. This is how this is basically profiled. We had another 205 that was a 1.4. It was a Roland Garros and we've noticed same, same shape. So this is a factory bent. You don't, please don't think this, <laughs> this car is about to break in the half or anything. Uh, this is how um, how these cars are shaped, how the floor is shaped on these 205s. Again, the only thing uh, that's damaged is is the corner of, of this thing. And you can see marking here when it got scuffed. Uh, but the car is definitely rust-free. And uh, maybe with the exception of some very surface rust here on these uh, back of those drums mm -hmm. but everything else looks really good all right 